Let's walk through best practices for assigning permissions in Shotgun before we start to add our crew. Starting from our People page, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with our People Permissions page. Shotgun ships with a handful of default permission roles which determine what users can see and do. Artists and vendors have the most restrictions. Admins, aka administrators, are typically mid to senior level crew members who are responsible for managing and maintaining the studio's production tracking standards and processes. In games, that's often producers or department managers. Admins have the highest level of access and controls over Shotgun. For example, they have the ability to create and archive projects. make large-scale layout and schema changes, they can edit, add, or retire people and tasks, and assume users' identities. Depending on the size of our project and what we're tracking in Shotgun, we may have one to three users with administrator access and that can easily scale up a team of various roles, maybe up to 50 to 70 people. As a best practice, it's better to limit the number of admins on our sites. That way we're keeping our production data clean and manageable, which ultimately falls to that role. For instance, new field creation is especially important to keep to a single individual or small group. It's fine to create fields as needed when you're an admin doing the initial shotgun setup for your studio. But when a whole studio is creating fields left and right, it can get ugly. With a small, centralized team responsible for managing fields and schema decisions, we can maintain a broad perspective and make sure that people are standardizing on a tight and efficient set of data. So what not to do? Just don't make everyone an admin. The next permission group is Manager. Studios typically select the manager permission group for art leads and supervisors that review and approve work, build or update schedules, and track milestones. While admins can see and control all projects, managers are typically assigned to specific projects though they can still see all projects by default. Shotgun provides deep customization options for these permission groups, so it can be fine-tuned to fit the reporting structure and responsibility of teams. Next comes the Artist Permission Group. This role is best reserved for in-studio artists who simply need to see and update their task assignments, submit work for approval, read their leads feedback, then go back to work as quickly as possible. They are also able to see all assets and tasks on the projects they've been assigned. Lastly, the Vendor Permission Group has the most restrictions and is intended for an external party, such as an outsourcing studio. The key difference between the Artist and Vendor Permission Groups is that the vendor can only see tasks and assets to which they are assigned, and notes that are addressed to them. This makes information control much more simple because a vendor is commonly an independent artist working in another studio or location who only needs access to limited information. Although the level of detail Shotgun offers in permission groups is very high, these default permission groups work very well as is with initial Shotgun setups.